Hi there. I've had the lovely experience for the last few months of uh, having a lot of things to do. I have been busy. And when people say, how are you doing lately? I've said, wow, it's interesting. I've been really busy. And it's surprising to me because for a while, uh, even a couple of years, I was not really busy and I liked that. And right now I am really busy and I really like that. And I was reflecting as I thought about being busy about the difference between doing busy and being busy. What struck me is that, yeah, I'm doing busy. I have a lot of things to do, so I am doing a lot of things. I am busy doing things. And what I have noticed and what's new in my life is that it's possible to do busy, to have, to have lots of things to do, and not be busy-minded. So it's a different way for me to reflect on busyness. I didn't really realize that over my lifetime, I have regarded having a lot of things to do as bringing with it a busy state of mind. So like if you've got a lot of stuff to do, you're gonna have a busy mind. If you are busy from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, or 8 p.m., it could take you hours to settle down. That just seemed natural and logical to me. Well, that connection has gotten, has been broken. It just isn't that way. Busy-mindedness is not a consequence of busy activity. Busy-mindedness is a consequence of busy-mindedness, as I can well attest from the many times in my life and in my clients' lives when we have been busy-minded without anything to show for it. And as I think back, I can think about times in my life when I have been busy doing things and perfectly content, slept fine at night, uh, not really needed a lot of decompression. So I invite you to notice and to play with the possibility in your own life that you may be making some assumptions about how your workload and your commitments and your projects, whether they're personal or professional, impact your state of mind. And just be curious, are you assuming that just because you're on the go from early morning to late at night, that when you stop, you need to keep going because it's stressful. Well, no, you're, you're doing until you're not doing and then you're free. Now, I want to acknowledge that most of us have a habit and a legacy of thinking and a culture around us of automatic thinking about busyness. And that thinking isn't necessarily conscious. It's not a matter of choice. It's just it's kind of there is the background. And until you've noticed this, discovered it, explored it for yourself, that automatic thinking is going to continue to produce busy-mindedness. But the busy-mindedness is coming from the automatic thinking. It's not a consequence of your schedule. At least that's what I'm asserting. That's what I'm discovering. So check it out for yourself. What is the link really between the quantity that you have to do and the quality of your state of mind? Let me know what shows up for you, what you discover, what questions you have. I welcome your pushback, your observations, and thank you for watching.